Russian military company predicts when to take control of Bakhmut. Russian forces are likely to take control of Bakhmut around March or April, Yevgeny Prigozhin, head of the Russian military company Wagner, said in an interview. According to Prigozhin, it is difficult to predict the specific time because Kiev is continuing to receive military aid from Western countries. He added that the transfer of Western military equipment, such as the German-made Leopard main battle tank, could be a key element in the campaign. However, the head of Wagner said the company will definitely learn how to destroy Leopard tanks and learn how to burn them. According to Prigozhin, there are three main reasons why Kiev is determined to keep back of it. The first reason is political. Because the battle at Bakhmut has now essentially become the new Stalingrad. Stalingrad was the site of the most brutal confrontation between Soviet and Nazi forces, which proved to be the turning point in World War II. Bakhmut is currently under heavy artillery fire. In Popoznaya, if you put out your hand, within 30 to 40 seconds you will get bullets, Prigozhin described. He added that in Bakhmut, the intensity of artillery activity was two to three times higher. The opponent spares no ammunition, and neither should we. The second reason is strategic, as Bakhmut is part of Ukraine's 70 km defense line created after Kiev sparked fighting in the Donbass in 2014. It is a logistics and transportation hub for military operations, Prigozhin said. The third reason is soldier morale. Mr. Prigozhin said that as long as Bakhmut survives, the morale of the Ukrainian army will remain strong. The Kiev forces were generally still in good spirits, so it was unlikely that they would lose their morale and run away. The Wagner company is currently leading the Russian forces in Bakhmut. According to Eastern Edition, a local news channel, Ukrainian forces appear to have blown up a bridge near the eastern city of Bakhmut, a sign that they may be planning to withdraw from the area. According to many newspapers, the Kremlin seems to be concentrating its maximum forces to gain control of Bakhmut before the conflict reaches the one-year mark on February 24. A Russian victory in Bakhmut would give the Kremlin momentum after months of stagnation and would be a springboard to winning the next two major cities controlled by Ukraine. Russian forces are currently occupying areas north and south of Bakhmut, and are trying to overwhelm Ukrainian forces by relentlessly pouring troops into the front lines. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in early February that his troops were determined to hold the Bakhmut fortress. However, according to the Washington Post, U.S. officials tried to convince him to prioritize preparing for a counterattack to regain territory that the U.S. considers more important. U.S. officials stress that time is of the essence because Washington's source of support is not endless.